The seat frames have come back from being powder coated, so I'm going to bring them through here. I've already put um, a blanket just so they can fly on that for a little bit um, and not get scratched. So while I'm going getting these seat frames, do me a big favour and just hit that subscribe button. Cheers. got the centre seat, uh, the two backrests and these are the seat bases. So these you just screw onto here like that. Um, there's plastic plugs in the end of these. Um, all the bolts are going to get sprayed. Um, the powder coaters wouldn't spray the bolts. I've got to do that. Another job on the list. So yeah, I need to build these seats now. So I've got all the bits now um, apart from the bolts for the frame. These are going to need a clean and then the bolt heads are going to need painted. So I need to deal with the bolt heads now and the cleaning of these. So the bolts have been painted, um, I've managed to free the runners on, on this seat. I can now start assembling it. So as you can see, it's finally arrived, the brown leather. Now I can get on and finish this Land Rover, so we will unpack this now. Brown leather. So I need to check this hard over for any major defects. Um, it's uh, an aged kind of finish to the leather, so any minor scars won't be that much of an issue. So I'll do it to check over. So that's not too bad. There are quite a lot of major creases in, but that's the nature of this kind of leather. So I'm going to cut the door cards and all the seats out at the same time. So I've worked out where I want to start and what I want to cut out of this piece. I'm just going to put a line in. I'm going to try and be as, as efficient as possible with cutting out this leather. I hope you've subscribed. I'll get on with the rest of this and I'll see you when it's all cut up. So the two front seats are now cut out. I've got um, pieces here that need to be formed back. Um, these pieces don't, so these just need some sewing doing to them.
so I've finally got uh, all the pieces now for the front seat. Um, after yesterday's bit of a cock up really, um, I cut out the wrong pattern for the defender backrest. So I've made them too big, which is quite lucky, could have been too small. Um, I've had to unpick them all, they were 95% sewn together. So I had to unpick them all, um, salvage what I could. Um, recut some new pieces that I couldn't salvage and um, yeah all cut out now but in the meantime I've also done the the centre seat as well so I used some of the pieces from the um, two front seats the bigger ones um, and managed to to make part of that up with it so it wasn't complete waste but as far as time's concerned it was a big waste. Um, yeah, it's probably wasted six, six to eight hours work to be at a part that I wasn't at yesterday. But ho hum, these things happen. So an update on where I am with the Land Rover front seats. Um, if you remember, I had a little bit of an issue on, I think it might have been Friday early evening. Um, Friday early evening. I'd made the wrong backrests. Um, there's two different heights on the backrests for these Land Rovers. Um, and I've made the ones that are higher, which is better than making the ones that are lower. Because um, I've managed to be able to salvage the front centre piece, the whole back, so which is quite good because that's got a pocket in it. There's a lot of work in making those. Um, I also salvaged some pieces from the old seats or the incorrect seats. Um, I salvaged some pieces for the middle seat, the centre seat. So it didn't all go to a waste, but um, it is now. Monday morning um, I was in Saturday um, the wife broke her wrist on Saturday afternoon um, which is another thing to deal with um, and where was I so yeah the wife broke her wrist so I, I put these together on Saturday to get to this point um, so really I am at where I was on probably Friday afternoon um, with these backrests. So all I need to do now is sew the backs of the fronts. So that's the back and the pocket on. And that's the front. So all backs of the fronts. Um, and they'll be ready for fitting. Well, once I've finished with the seat frames, they've been powder coated, they still need a little bit of touch up in places and um, they'll need greasing as well. So I'll get on with sewing these. Um, and then after that, it's going to be the rear seats. Um, so I'll be getting on with these. So the backrest covers for the front two seats um, and I've finished. Um, I'm going to put them to one side because I'm going to cut out all the leather for the rear seats.
that's all the rear seats um, sewn together. I need to top stitch them now um, and then attach things like velcros and any other fastenings, fixings that, that go onto the cover and then I can fit them.